Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ron Trace, and we're back here with another trade video. In today's video, guys, you see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys my daily smart money routine. Now, what I mean by this is, guys, I'm basically going to be telling you what I do before I come to the charts, what I'm basically looking for before I'm um, actually taking entries and things like that, what criteria what criterias that I need to see made and Basically, just my basics of uh, everyday trading with me, guys. So, um, make sure you guys like the video and let's get straight into it. So, first and foremost, guys, if we want to get personal on what I do before I come to the charts, pretty much waking up, like I said, let's say if we were just trading a regular day, I'm pretty much trading the London session, which starts at 2 a.m. from around 5 a.m. Me, personally, I do wake up around 2.45 a.m. I'm looking to trade that 3, 3 a.m. volatility um, opening. And from there on out, so pretty much for me, guys, waking up around 2.45 a.m., usually, like, you know, drinking water and, you know, having some potassium, which is bananas. I eat a lot of bananas before I start trading, and I get, like, a quick little five-minute or, like, a ten-minute stretch in just to get my blood flowing. And from there, that's pretty much the only thing that I do when it comes to before trading. Now, when it comes to actually hopping on my charts and getting ready for my trading session, the, session, the first thing that you can see here by my checklist is, first thing I'm doing is I'm checking that economic calendar. I need to see, do we have news today? Is it in a peewee? Um, what releases do we have coming now? Usually, the releases open up at 8.30. We, we, we really haven't been having a lot of news around London. For the past couple months, all the news has been around 8.30 a.m. New York time. So I still need to know that, though, because if I'm going to be holding a trade set up from London, I need to understand that around 8.30 or 10 a.m. usually when the releases come out, that it can impact my trade setup. So the first thing I'm doing, guys, is checking my economic calendar, seeing do we have red news. I'm not really interested in yellow news. I do, um, I do acknowledge the orange news, just depending on what release it is, but I'm more focused on the high-impact red news. Um, and yeah, guys, it's going to be my first checkoff. And my second checkoff, guys, is going to be for my smart money daily routine is going to be establishing a daily bias. I feel like everyone should understand how to establish establish a daily, a daily bias and having a daily bias will, will really help you out in trading um, intraday and scalping. So you know exactly which direction that daily time frame is going to. If you guys watch ICT videos. He always stressed that we need to understand what is that daily time frame drawing to. If we can figure out what that daily time time frame is drawing to, that will help us out in our intraday trading or our scalping session um, with trading. The third thing I do is I establish a daily draw on liquidity. Pretty much the same thing as the um, second checkoff, but just to go, in, go into a little, little bit more detail on that, guys. Pretty much, I use the daily draw on liquidity for my target zones. So if it, so, the, so let's say if the daily time frame was for some reason reaching for a um, reaching for sales high liquidity, I'm going to be targeting that. And once price hits that, that's when I'm going to be using that as my take profit from my intraday trading. Or like I say, if you are a scapper, that's pretty much how I get my TPs is from the daily time frame, daily draw on liquidity. Now for my fourth routine, guys, I'm pretty much identify which kill zone am I in? Am I trading London kill zone? Am I trading Asian Asian kill zone? Am I trading New York kill zone? Pretty much for me, like I say, guys, I'm pretty much trading the London kill zone, or I'm trading a New York session kill zone. But my preferably go to is when I'm actually putting up a lot of risk is going to be during the London kill zone. So London kill zone is when I am particularly trading. So yeah, it's going to be my fourth routine checkoff, guys. And my fifth one is going to be establishing higher time frame POI for liquidity runs. And what I mean by that is, guys, just going into a little bit more detail. I'm pretty much using that four-hour time frame and a one-hour time frame to see where is the liquidity pools. Or even asking myself, has liquidity been taken out on at least a one-hour or the four-hour time frame? If I can, you know, establish a answer on that that's going to lead to you know my my decision making when it comes to you know intraday trading or just scalping so like i say guys once again i need to establish a higher time frame poi for liquidity runs like i say with my model i need to see liquidity taken out that is that's the only way that's going to you know validate me even pressing the buy or sell button i need to see some form of liquidity taken out me personally, I like to see liquidity taken out on a one hour or the four hour time frame just because those are you know those are higher time frame higher time frames POI liquidity runs which have a way more significance than a five minute liquidity run or 15 minute liquidity run so I like to see the one hour or the four hour time frame run liquidity and last but not least for my routine guys I'm pretty much using that 15 minute or that five minute for my entries um that's really my my you know my framework for today is going to be that 15 minute 
or five minute. I usually take my um, inches on the five minute or the four minute time frame, and I'm usually establishing what I'm looking for and you know what is potentially to happen on that 15 minute time frame. So just to go over this one more time, guys, um, just in case I was going too fast. Once again, my smart money, my smart money daily routine. The first thing I do is check my economic calendar. I need to see do we have high impact news releases coming out that will potentially impact my setup or my trade. Second thing I'm doing is I'm establishing my daily bias. Where is that daily time frame trying to go? What is that daily time time frame drawing to? You know, are we drawing the sell side? Are we drawing the buy side? If so, I need to mark that out, and I'm going to be using that as my target for my take profit. Now, the fourth thing, guys, like I say, is going to be identify which kill zone am I in? Am I trading at the right time? Am I in the right session? Am I trading before the session opens? Am I trading after the session already closed? Those are things that I need that I pretty much ask myself whenever I'm trading, no matter what kill zone I'm trading in, New York, Asian, or um, London. So the fifth thing, guys, that I do is going to be I establish a higher time frame POI for liquidity runs. Once again, what I mean by that is I'm, I need to see a one-hour liquidity pool ran or a four-hour liquidity pool ran. Most times, nine times out of ten, I'm going to wait on that one hour. Sometimes the four-hour does take a long time for liquidity runs to happen because obviously it is a four-hour time, four-hour candle. But pretty much I'm looking at that one-hour time frame for um, liquidity runs and stop runs and things like that. After I see liquidity runs in a one-hour time frame, that's when I come down to my last um, smart money daily routine checkoff, which is going to be using that 15-minute or that 5-minute for my entries. Basically, I frame my day on a 15-minute time frame. And a 5-minute and a 4-minute, I pretty much take my entries for low quality um low high quality setups with a very low um you know very small stop off so that's pretty much my smc daily routine guys once again very simple straight to the point um not trying to get up here and act flashy or do anything crazy or add anything to my routine that's you know not necessary so hopefully you hopefully this video helped you guys out to you know actually establish a routine before coming to the charts um, knowing exactly what to look for when you first sit down and sit down at your trading desk, knowing what to look for, you know, make sure your routine is established. Um, I feel like if I feel like having a routine is very, very key in trading and knowing exactly what you're looking for. Are you actually following your rules? Are you actually following your routine check off? If so, that gives you a, a bigger confidence in, you know, your setup that you're actually looking to participate in. So yeah, like I say, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Very quick video, as always. I'm just trying to share you, you know, give you guys my insight on how I use smart money, smart money routines, and how I establish a smart money routine. And I understand also, guys, for this video starts. Every one routine is different. Is there is not a one routine to do? Don't fall for these scams. These scams YouTubers out here that are telling you to, you know, oh, you must do it this way. Guys, there's no specific way to do anything in trade and there's no specific strategy to, you know, trade. You can trade support and resistance and literally have the same exact daily routine that I have. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing wrong with that. Whatever works for you, trade what works for you. Don't try to be, don't try to copy others. Um, You know, just be yourself and find what works for you, man. And yeah, like I say, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, and thank you guys for all the support, man.